Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. I hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be talking about Sonny calling out someone who is allegedly trying to expose personal information about Sonny and Moses. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that I post or go live. And everyone, please like, share, and don't forget to let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Now let's get into it. Sunny went live and she was going off about someone basically trying to expose her personal information and Moses is criminal. Like his personal information in boxing about Moses and his criminal history or background. She was basically explaining that what people are thinking to use as a weapon to weaponize them is some is literally their testimony. And essentially her and her husband have been through some things and have gotten through it and that's their testimony. She did say that, you know, trying to shame her husband or make him feel a type of way by exposing things like his personal, like previous criminal history, things like that. She doesn't give two Fs about. And that God has put them through that. It's their testimony and they're not ashamed of it. And, you know, essentially those trials make them stronger. I think that's very interesting because I think sometimes when people expose things, they always feel like, oh, you know, it's going to get to these people. They won't be able to deal with that. I do like how Sonny and Moses were forthcoming about his criminal history um, because it will get exposed. And I'm glad that he's getting ahead of it and exposing it or he got ahead of it and exposed it himself. And I think that's why this person does not really have any leverage unless they're giving us more stuff that is not already in the public domain if people were trying to look for it. She did say that, you know, they've been forthcoming with the information about the past and that they're not ashamed of it. Instead, they are proud of it. They've come through so much. They've come out on the other side. And I completely understand that. Apparently, the person is like sending her husband, family name and all that kind of stuff and inbox in. That is some crazy ish. This is what I say about sometimes I feel like the fans be doing too much. It's like, who cares at this point? This man already said he has criminal history and stuff. Why do you need to be doing additional research to figure out what the criminal thing is? If you want to know, just do yes, do that search. But why are you inboxing people about it? It's weird. And unnecessary. This man ain't even on the show like that. How many times have we seen Moses? Not that many. For him to be a key part of the show that people are in the comments or, or in the inboxes about him. That is just weird. Now, she did say, you don't want to mess with the ninja from the north side. Okay? Because apparently you're going to get the smoke. She does talk about her and her husband are trying to keep it cool, keep it classy, stay mature. Um, and just be like, you know, the grown folks just living life, enjoying themselves, being happy, being married, spreading like love and joy and stuff. That's really all they want to do. But these people think that they could hurt her or her family because they want to try to sort of expose things. Um, but her husband already disclosed it anyway. It's on TV. They're not ashamed of it. And let this be a lesson to people. There's no reason to be secretive about stuff, especially when you're going on reality TV. You're better off getting ahead of it and coming out to say certain things to at least protect your reputation. Because people would prefer people that are, people prefer people that are transparent. When we watch reality TV, we know people keep some things back, but we want to feel like they're not. We want to feel like they're being honest about what's going on in their lives. But if they don't disclose something as serious as a criminal history, especially when it's a full-on roster, and I'm not even trying to be mean, like if it's more than one crime, then this is this happened a few times. So you need to disclose that. You can, like, because it's a different thing, like, oh, you got arrested years ago for trespassing or something like that when you were six, 16 or 18. That's not that serious. You don't necessarily have to disclose that if it does not come up in conversation. But I feel like when you get to a certain age, and especially if you go to 
jail as an adult i feel like that needs to be disclosed on a reality tv um show because if you don't other people will disclose it for you and then you would not be able to control the narrative and at least get the opportunity to put your narrative out there as well so between your narrative and the others then hopefully there's a chance of your narrative surviving but if you don't even get the chance to put your narrative out there how is that the narrative even going to potentially survive it won't i think sunny is trying to let us know like she ain't with the shenanigans and she will stand up for herself if she needs to she talks a little bit about she doesn't want to come out of her bag and come into who, the whole person that she was um, trying to basically survive the streets of St. Louis. And of course, we've heard some crazy things about St. Louis. So I guess it takes a level of courage um, to be able to survive in those streets. And so I guess that's why she's letting people know, like, let it be said, St. Louis, play, baby. That's what it's given. Now, she did say, and I'm like, I'm with you, sis. She basically said that she isn't scared and that if she finds out who the person is, she would expose them and pull up on them now i ain't telling you to pull up on nobody because you could get hurt seriously or hurt somebody else and i don't want nobody going to jail okay so sunny if you're listening to this i'm not telling you to pull up but what i will tell you to do is if the person if you do find out who it is post the receipts expose it post the receipts one of the things we love about mel okay and i feel like sunny knows that and I feel like Sunny is the first cast member since the beginning of the show who I am seeing knows how to capitalize on it. Now, it could be because she is a producer, but whatever the case may be, I've noticed that she's capitalizing on it. She's building a community. She's going live constantly, talking to her followers. The best way to build that level of engagement is going live, talking to people, creating a sense of community, getting to know you, that sort of thing. She is really playing that very, very well. Now, whether or not it's genuine, we will find out. But she is definitely building her brand and she's doing it very, very well. And so I'm here for it in the sense that, you know, I noticed the hard work on that level. Um, and I just think if it ever comes out and you know who it is, please expose it. We want to see all the receipts. You got to put some screenshots. Do it like Mel be doing that red phone, okay? Now, that is all I have to talk to you guys about today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, hit that subscribe button and that bell button and make sure you click on all notifications so you know every single time that i post go live or do anything on the youtube streets but yeah that is all for today thank you so much have a wonderful day i love you bye